in a sea of yellow, a final farewell to Valentino Rossi after a 26-year career, with 432 Grand Prix starts, 115 wins, 235 podiums and 65 poles across all three classes of the World Championship. It was a fittingly vibrant setting for one of sport's most charismatic personalities to take his final bow. I'm ready riding motorcycles and racing in MotoGP is always my first passion, from when I was a child. If I think of this moment, two or three years ago, I was desperate, but now I'm ready, it's the time. It's enough. The 42-year-old said he had to persuade his family and friends that the time had come for him to step off his storied Yamaha YZIM1. It was difficult, especially with my mother, my father and my close friends, to say to them I would stop at the end of the season, because everybody said, no, you have to continue. You have to continue, but I was ready, and I convinced them. Read. Lewis Hamilton keeps F1 title hopes alive in Sao Paulo GP when Rossi conceded that finally relinquishing his dream of a 10th world title rankled just a little. It's shame because 10 is a great number, it's like that you close a circle, and I was a lot of times very close to the 10th one, and I think I deserved the 10th one for my speed and for my career, but unfortunately it's like this, but I cannot complain with 9 championships. Perhaps the most famous of those nearly moments came under a shroud of controversy, after the infamous 2015 clash with Marc Marquez at the Malaysia MotoGP in Sepang, when the Italian was censured after appearing to aim a kick at the Spaniard, knocking him into the gravel during a fractious battle. Penalized with a points deduction in a back-of-the-grid start in the final race of the season, he was unable to claim the title from Jorge Lorenzo. Even six years on, Rossi has not forgiven his younger rival. Marquez has always denied that he had any intention of scuppering Rossi's title bid, but the Italian remains unconvinced, and hatchets remain unburied. Rossi did not name Marquez in his list of major rivalries, picking instead three others from his illustrious career. I had great rivalries, I enjoy always a lot, I think the best ones are with Max Biaggi, with the 500 and in MotoGP and also with Stoner because he was very fast and was a great talent, and with Jorge Lorenzo. These three I enjoy a lot, sometimes I won, sometimes I lose, but it was always a great fight. Rossi's impact on MotoGP is impossible to quantify, in part because he has been an ever-present in the premier class since the MotoGP brand was created, in 2002. Imagine, that I was here in the first race of MotoGP because before the name was not MotoGP, so from the beginning of MotoGP, you have Valentino Rossi the Italian left. Now, as the sport finally parts ways with its most celebrated competitor, Rossi sees a bright future ahead for it without him, not least with a new crop of Italian talent on the grid. A bright future and a career full of joyful moments and great successes, Rossi also harked back to one of MotoGP's most tragic moments the death of Marco Simoncelli during the Malaysia Grand Prix 10 years ago. He admitted that he often still thinks of his fallen compatriot. With stars ranging from Tom Cruise, Chris Hemsworth, Keanu Reeves, and the likes of Lewis Hamilton and Andrea Perlo recording tributes to Rossi, social media was also abuzz with anticipation. In the event, the race itself was a tightly fought one, with Jorge Martin holding an early lead before being hauled in by fellow Ducati rider and Rossi protege, Pecco Bagnaia. The young Italian was sporting a specially designed helmet for the race, emblazoned with the number 46, and the words Cispetacolo, or what a show. Perhaps fittingly, Bagnaia took that number across the line to victory, ahead of a historic first-ever Ducati podium lockout, ensuring the Bologna outfit added the team title to the constructor's title it had already clinched. It was incredible, incredible Bagnai told the official MotoGP channel after the race. The only way possible to celebrate was to win with his helmet, so there was Vale with me, on the top of the podium, so I'm so happy. Rossi held his 10th place, underscoring the fact that, even at 42, he can still more than hold his own in a premier class race. Close friend and Brazilian soccer legend Ronaldo waved the checkered flag as the Italian crossed the line. A swarm of fans and riders surrounded him under a cloud of yellow smoke after the flag, before he returned to a guard of honor in the packed and applauding paddock, 
eventually standing on the saddle of his Yamaha amid the throng to wave at his now former colleagues. Two new chapters I have always drive racing cars, because it's my great passion. I started with a go-kart so I have some good experience, and it's fun to drive cars. And also because if you are a bit more older, it's not so bad because it's more easy physically, and I like to stay on the track, I like to be a driver, so we will see. I don't know my potential, we need to wait for next year. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.